Okay, now the problem. Let's solve a problem now. What are the scale, scale up products? Now we have a question like this. This question. This question. Problem one. Let's call it problem one. The question says find the angle between the two vectors. Vector here in three dimension two I plus three J plus K plus K and second vector vector B saving to us as minus four I plus 2j minus 4k now the question says find the angle between the two vectors uh, yeah and in this question the look um hard but it's simple and for what we've done so far on the, on the product of vectors the scalar products uh, solution Now let's write the formula out. Vector A dot vector B will give us the product of the magnitude of vector A and the magnitude of vector B cos theta. The theta is the angle between them. Now and don't forget that um, scalar product is the same thing. We can also call it dot product. Therefore, um, so we go on by uh, solving this, solve this problem. Okay. And don't forget that um, vector A dot vector B also be given to us in uh, which can be, ex be expressed in three dimension uh, you make use of Cartesian coordinates axis I mean, system so definitely we have vector and we have um, a comp I mean x, comp uh, x components vector a along x component i you have that of B, I'll be Y. You have J. You have next one. We have C, Z, K, at. Oh, sorry. Not really that way. So definitely we have something. Like we have. Uh, we don't need to go through that one because it's gonna take us a long time, a long process. B X, and next one we have A Y. B Y plus A Z B Z. So that is just the expression of that. Definitely we can now we can now we have something like this um, we can now make this one we can now use to this expression to re represent these uh, one represent this one so therefore we can have this then we have then we have um, uh, a x b x plus b uh, a y b y plus a z b z equals to the product of the magnets 
magnitude vector here, um, magnitude vector B, cos theta. And don't forget that we want to have, um, we, want to we want to find the angle between the two vectors. And let's, so definitely the our formula will be in this, uh, uh, I mean, theta, the, the formula for the angle we're given to us, it will make theta the subject of formula. We have theta equal to arcos. You have this. E X B S plus E Y B Y plus E Z B Z. Plus some bracket all over the mag the product of the magnitude of vector E and uh, mag magnitude of vector B. And I hope you are following me. Good. So, and next, so what we have to do is just we we ob try to obtain the from this equation from these from this equation now. Oh, I mean, sorry, from this equation, we're going to get the we're going to express. This I'm going to express this and also express this one too. For after that, we now slot them into this formula. So, firstly, firstly, we do like this now to get the now. I don't forget that vector A is given to us as 2i plus 3j plus k and vector B given to us as minus 4i plus 2j minus k half I don't forget that now AS the value of the vectors given to us in three dimension AS be given to it be two AY now will be three AZ I'll give us give us um, um one don't forget Look at this. The coefficient of the unit vector k is one. And let's come back to that of b. B s is what that will be what, what the, 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 the coefficient of unit vector i is minus four. So that will be our v that will be our b x and b y give us some um, arbit two. And B Z. Now give us what's minus one because minus one is the coefficient of the k unit um, unit vector k. So therefore, we got there. Uh, next thing we, we input these values into um, into this equation. This equation. So let's name it. Let's name it for better understanding. Okay. Let's call it the equation one. Okay. Equation one. So what we now have to do, the left hand side of equation one, we have to express it with the given values. Okay, let me let me so that you get it very well. Understand it well, okay. So let's call this one. This one. Right. 
and side of equation one and this one is left hand side oh sorry I mean um, this left hand side left hand side equation and this one why this one right hand side equation of equation one so move back let's continue so the so the left hand side of equation one which is a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z given to us as now let's plot the, the values a s is 2 right 2 ok 2 multiply a s is 2 y a uh, b x x minus 4 so a s multiplied by b x that will give us 2 multiplied by min minus 4 plus a y is 3 it's given to us as 3 and b y is given to us as 2 we have this uh, next one plus a z is a z a z is 1 and uh, b z is minus 1 so let's calculate this we have minus 8 plus 6 minus 1 on what would that give us that will give us um, what that give us we have minus 8 minus 1 that will be minus 9 so minus 9 plus 6 we give us minus 3 so on the expression left left and side expression a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z is expressed making it with with their values and eventually we got minus three as minus eight minus one that will give us minus nine plus six that will give us minus three so move to the right and side equation of as right hand side expression of equation one. So now we have this, and that is well, we have this. These represent magnitude of vector A. So, therefore, don't forget that, okay, from last class we had, I mean, like on the previous class we did a magnitude of vectors and it's given to us as magnitude of vector shape it's given to us as e is given to us is given as e s square plus a y square plus a z square hope you are following this you know it is simple you can so let's go ahead now we have square root of and what a s is 2 it's given to us as 2 so that will be 2 square plus a y that is 3 a y square that is 3 square plus a z is 1 that is 1 square what would that give us now 2 square is 4 plus 9 4 plus 9 we give us 13 excuse me plus 1 and the 14 now square root of 14 14 so the magnitude of vector a is given to us a square root of 14 and next one so let's try that of b the magnitude of 
vector b excuse me Okay, so move to the next one then the so vector magnitude of vector b. So we have magnitude of vector b the same approach. Okay, excuse me. approach the vector B okay magnitude of vector B mm. as such like this okay I'll be square root of Oh, sorry. Vector B, we have um, multiple vector B. We have. Let's go up there. Up. Take our values. So we have one. We have B X. B X. Scale plus. B Y square and so half plus B Z square and now uh, so let's go ahead so the square root of um I'll be B S is minus four and four square plus R uh, two square plus minus one square and that we give us and as first square that is 16 and two square that is I'll give us 4 16 plus 4 that is 20 minus one square minus one square is 17 as one that will give us 21 a square root of 21 Okay, therefore, now that we've got to know those parameters in equation in equation uh, one, therefore we can slot all those things in the equation one, mm. and thereby express equation two. Let's come up here and uh, and name this one equation two. Equation two. Yeah. Let's go this equation two. Equation two. So let's go. Let's express equation two. Let's come here. I'll look at this. We've been able to express this expression. A x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z. And uh, we and the results. We got. I mean, the Hansen rules got was minus 3 and um, it's minus 3 
and for magnitude of A. And so what we now do now is so the angle between oh sorry the angle between the two vector now uh, which is theta equals to a cos a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z all over the product of the magnitude of vector a so now that's what we want to express now equals to cos men a cos and don't forget the above expression the results got in as minus three of uh, minus three all over magnitude of vector a we got uh it's got the got root root for thin times the root so into one which is magnitude of vector b so and from there and continue with our expression so definitely this will give us um, a cos minus theory uh, as that will be root 14 multiply by 21 and we calculate that's how we give us some um, our cos and minus 0 0.175 so t that will be given to us and try that of course minus 0.175 that will give us zero i mean 100 degree that's the angle between them so try that and uh, get it done so if you see any question in this form you follow this process this this process right on. so let's quickly move into the second um, product of vectors of two vectors from your from a lever so the second one is um, given to us the second one is this, this second method of so I mean of solving product of vectors